have your mat and a little floor space, we're gonna do some exercises that work on our core strength. Our first exercise is called the bird dog. I want you to come onto your hands and knees in the middle of your mat. Extending your opposite arm and leg nice and straight, moving your limbs like you're moving through peanut butter, come to a long straight line and hold, and bring it down. Okay, same thing, other side. And I'm gonna start our timer here for 30 seconds. And keep working, keep doing this. As you do this, I want you to really focus on all the muscles around your spine as if they are corset. And you're gonna just keep tightening that corset tighter and tighter as you work through your bird dog. And we have four, three, two, one, and rest for 10 seconds. The next one we're gonna do is called Superman. We're gonna lie flat on our stomach here, face down. We're gonna lift the arm and the legs. Okay, that's 30 seconds. Third exercise is a plank. I want you to push your forearms down into the floor and push your body into a nice straight line. Okay, we wanna be as straight here as possible. Avoid sticking your butt up in the air. The other thing you definitely wanna avoid is letting your back sag. If you feel your, your back sagging there, really tighten up your tummy. Come up nice and tall. Okay, drop down onto your knees and stretch. From here, we're gonna roll onto our back for a bridge. Roll down one vertebrae at a time, nice and straight. Put your feet flat on the floor and close to your fingertips. We're gonna lift our hips up in a bridge and lower them back down. We're gonna lift and hold, and lower back down. Next exercise is gonna work from our side. This is called a side bridge. To start this, I recommend you keep both legs down on the floor. Hand up here on the hip. We're gonna lift our hip and lower it back down. A couple things we wanna be really careful that your shoulder is okay with this. If you feel pain in your shoulder or anywhere else for that matter, stop immediately. This is working, building our strength in the lateral muscles here on the underside of the bridge. This is great for people who are trying to prevent back pain as it strengthens our QL. That's the muscle right here on the low back. I'm gonna show you from the back what that looks like. On the other side, roll over to the other side. Same thing. Okay, back onto our back here. These are called bent knee marches. We're gonna take our hands here and tuck them underneath your hips. Create some support on your low back. Keeping your knee at 90 degrees, one leg at a time. Tap it down to the mat and pull it back up. Tap it down, pull it back up. Something to avoid is doing this. If you feel your knee collapsing, to achieve that, you're probably not gonna feel that in your abs. It won't hurt you, but you might not feel it very much. So really reach down with your toes or your heels, tapping down to the mat. 
from here, we're gonna take our hands at our ears and you can either leave your legs up here in the air or you can put them down on the floor. I'm gonna leave mine up and I'm just gonna do a little chest lift. So just lifting your chest up towards the ceiling crunches there. Pull your knees into your chest. Roll back side to side. Next exercise is a leg lift. From here, we're going to put our feet back on the floor and extend one leg. Let me get my timer going again. And we're going to lift and lower. And lift and lower. Put all your focus into your abdominal muscles here as they control the weight of the leg and they protect your low back. Now we'll take it to the other side. I want you to feel like you're taking your rib cage, the back of your rib cage, and pushing it down into your mat. So what you want to avoid is anything like this. If you feel, feel your back popping up off of the mat, really push that down. That'll protect you. It'll also make the exercises a lot more effective. Okay, we're gonna roll over again. We've given our shoulders a little rest. Let's do a few more planks. This time we're gonna do tall plank. You need to put your hands right underneath your shoulders here. the feet position a little bit more narrow is going to feel harder wider is going to give you a wider more stable base great drop to your knees bird dog that we began with we're going to do that again just another version of it i want you to reach long and then pull your elbow in toward your knee and back out. So this is all on one side. We're going to work 30 seconds for one side and 30 seconds on the other. Stretch your back out for a breath or two. We are almost done here. Let's go to the other side. And we're going to do one more plank here on our forearms, pushing up. And from here, we're going to do one called dolphin plank. Let's push our hips up and bring yourself back down to your plank. Push up, back down. down. When you're working on strengthening your core, frequency is key. So you don't have to spend a lot of time on it, but you do need to do it frequently. Let me know how it goes and good luck.